work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Why fear and trembling? Why should I attack selfishness and attack anger and attack blaming and sullenness and self-pity? Why should I attack those with, with fear and trembling? And if you just let your mind spin off without any context, you'd say, because your life is at stake. You might go to hell if you don't, which is true. It's just not what he says. The ground for my trembling here is not threat, but gift. Tremble, God Almighty, the creator of the universe, your father, your redeemer, your sustainer is in you. Willing and working, tremble. Your acting is his acting. If that hits you, that's what I meant by, I don't wait for a miracle, I act the miracle. My attack on my sin in reliance upon the Holy Spirit rooted in the gospel is God's act, not mine. I worked harder than any of them. Nevertheless, it was not I, but the grace of God that was in me. When that lands on you, I mean, if you could feel that, you would tremble. My willing is the willing of the omnipotent God. My acting, my opposition is the acting and the opposition of the infinite, omnipotent, sovereign creator of the universe. He's that close to me. He's that involved with me. He's that much on my side. He's that much indwelling and shaping and forming my whole attack. Yeah, he is. That's what it says. So let me close with an illustration. Last Sunday night, so this is, the warfare goes on. Last Sunday night, you remember, remember it? It was snowy, right? And, and I love it. I just love to get locked in. Can't go anywhere, so you're feeling okay. You're there, the family's home, and I was sitting on the couch. Supper was over. Noel was working in her study. Talitha was cleaning up in the kitchen a little bit, and I was looking forward to doing something with Noel and Talitha watch something, do something, whatever, you know. And Talitha comes in and she says, Mommy and I are going to watch Super Nanny on the computer. War. This, this, is, just, this is not the plan. She comes in, they go over, they set up the computer on the stool, sit on the love seat, I'm on the couch, and turn it on and start watching. Now, praise God that some of you would have no problem with that at all. Everything in me said, this is so wrong. I am the dad here. I should be consulted at least. I mean, I want to watch two, something, not that. So now, in the past, before I got serious about this, I think I would have simply sunk. I would have become angry. I would have uh, felt sorry for myself. They left me out. I would have blamed, and I would have gone upstairs sulking, thinking of something to say that would hurt them and make them feel sorry for me. Well, I did not do that. I saw it rising. I hated it. I'm going to kill this. So without any kind of cold shoulder, I said something simple and non-offensive and went up to my study and warred for about a half an hour. 
killing, bringing to mind every kind of promise, every kind of blood-bought precious inheritance, every good thing in my life. Set your mind on things that are above and think on things that are pure and holy and just and commendable and good. And I was making war for 30 minutes until I killed it. And, later, and here's, here's what, I, 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 the test of whether I could kill it, this may not be the way you prove it, but the test of whether I could kill it is whether I could not forget it that moment, but actually mention something to Noel in a totally non-condemning way. That's the huge challenge for me. Could I deal with that moment in a way that didn't indirectly and subtly blame, condemn, and I, I think the words I used later, and, and, and she felt the, the freedom, I think, not blaming. I said, you know, I was, I was kind of surprised that that happened. And, and she brought out what she had said to Talitha and what they'd done. It was a lot of miscommunication. Talitha was supposed to say this, blah, blah, blah. And, and it was over. And in the past, it wouldn't have been over for a week, two weeks. Conclusion. Um, yes, brothers and sisters, it would be a thousand times better if on that couch that sin never arose in my heart. It would be a thousand times better if this 65-year-old preacher never had those feelings. That's the way it'll be in heaven. I want that. I would like that. That day will come. It may come in this life. It may not. And my point here is, until that day comes, part of God's will for your and my strategy in sanctification is a empowered, Holy Spirit-shaped and driven, blood-bought, willing against a particular sin until we kill it in that moment. It may come again tomorrow, but in that moment, we're going to kill it. And we will stay on it until it's dead. We will put our foot on its neck and say, you're not getting up. Bang, you're dead. I am not letting you go. That's been new for me. So pray for me, and I will pray for you. We act a miracle. It is God willing in your sin-killing